ओके सो लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन ये गई दिस क्वेश्चन सेज दैट अ कंपनीज एनालिटिक्स एनालिटिक्स टीम हैज मॉडल्ड इट्स टोटल रेवेन्यू टी आर एस टी आर इज इक्वल टू थ्री डब्ल्यू वन पॉइंट टू ए थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स इज अ पावर ईयर वे डब्ल्यू इज इट्स वेज पेमेंट्स एंड ए इज इट्स एडवर्टाइजिंग एक्सपेंडिचर ओके द अप्रॉक्सीमेट चेंज इन टी आर इफ वेजेस आर इंक्रीज बाई फाइव परसेंट विल बी सो कि जस्ट राइट दिस एक क्वेश्चन ना होगा इस ओके सो लेट मी दिस टी आर इज गिवेन ईयर एज थ्री डब्ल्यू रेज टू पावर इज वन पॉइंट टू ईयर एंड ए पावर इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स ईयर ओके now uh if now approximate change in tr i need to calculate if wages are increased by 0.5% right by sorry 0.05 that is 5% so understand is guys now basically if i if i write a new tr or let's say write tr dash here what is tr dash so wages will increase by 5% so can i write here 3 into 1.05 w now okay and uh, the this power is still 1.2 and a power is still 3.6 correct now always so in this kind of questions always have a look and look an option look uh, and uh, have an eye on options here right so very very important you see here so now just always try to relate to old tr actually so if i find here i can just see that uh, this is actually 1.05 power 1.2 and if i separate this so 1.05 power 1.2 if i separate this what i'm left here inside is 3w uh 3w okay and w power 1.2 that's fine and into a to the power 3.6 if you observe this this was this tr right this is what 1.05 now power 1.2 is actually uh this is a uh, 3w right so this is a uh, whole should be tr now this whole tr so now If you see this, the TR has now become one point. Now TR dash has become one point zero five to the power one point two. So you need you just need to have this common sense. Don't calculate this, guys. Okay, just know one thing: for any number greater than one, okay. So for any number for x, if x is greater than one, and if we're trying to put some powers here, okay. So if x is greater than one, and we're trying to put any power greater than one, let's say for example one point five. Is one point five square? The value will become two point two five here. Okay, so that means the if value is one point five, and if I square it, the resulting value will be more than the more than the initial value. That's quite na natural, right? But same thing doesn't happen when x is x is between zero and one. If x is between zero and one, for example, if I take point eight, so now if I square point eight here, its value is point six four. Okay, so now that means after squaring, the value has decreased. And on the simple question, there are so many con on the simple concepts, there are so many questions actually, right? So point eight is square. So the resulting value now point six four. Unlike this, is greater than or point less than or point eight here. Okay, so understand this. Even if this is very close case, but this value is more than one. This power is more than one. So obviously, one point zero five. to the power 1.2 will be greater than what uh, 1.05 okay so 1.05 to the power 1.2 will always be greater than 1.05 okay always be greater than 1.05 yes so that means uh, increase in tr so basically the tr has now become 1.05 so if 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 it was if it was 1.05 That means I could have said five percent increase. I just told you, right? In uh, I have told you in previous videos, if a value becomes one point five, then you subtract from one. It is point five, and then we multiply by hundred to take the percent. That is fifty percent increase. Similarly, one point zero five. If I subtract from one, it is it is five. It is a zero five, right? So point zero five. If I multiply by hundred to change to percent, it is five percent increase. Okay. That means one point zero five means five percent increase, right? And if it is one point zero five to the power one point two, the increase is increase will be greater than five percent. So if increase is greater than five percent, I have only option D here. That's it. There is no other option. Okay. So six percent is the answer. So in we don't need to calculate also actually, right? So we don't need to calculate this also. Okay. Are you all of you got this? Okay.
and also there are many who are studying live here guys so those who want to join the live batches is an lrdi batch going on so this lrdi i am covering in multiple parts here part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 part 5 so in part 1 we have covered around 50 plus sets and part 2 is coming from 8th of march is around 100 plus sets in this so total in lrdi we are will be covering total 500 plus sets in lrdi and it's a great practice for all of you so those who want to want to join can join this lrdi part 2 from 8th march so uh, lrdi part 1 recordings are available so part 1 all recordings are available in quant algebra batches going on so basically uh, those who want to study live and have uh, uh, we have a lot of practice sessions so there are around 500 plus questions in sets in lrdi and then 2000 plus questions in quant so anyone who wish to join this they can join using my referral code ravi rode at an academy and they can they can use all this session sessions right even if you are not buying guys there are so many free practice sessions available at an academy do use them just go to my an academy profile the link is in description here and you can find so many practice sessions of quant and lrdi please finish all those and all these sets we are doing here in this course are different from that right so if you wish to join plus you can join plus also using this my referral discount code here okay so this batch is from 8th march at 7:30 am apart from our night batches of quant it is at 10 pm okay thank you